taking all this into account, how was the composition and recording process for this new album, Dreams of Lands Unseen? Uh, you mean the, only the recording at the studio or writing the album? Like... Writing the album as well. Yeah, so basically, again, um, Evgeny had some demos, I would say for five, six songs, and he gave uh, me to listen to them. And uh, it was all during the pandemic, and we wrote the album in 2021. And, um, you know, traveling is one of my main influences personally, and it was very hard for me to sit at home during the pandemic and travel nowhere. So when I listened to the demos and I heard all these different folk um, elements and tunes that could have been from different countries, I thought, okay, we should make an album about traveling. And at first, I thought that we could just pick up different travelers from different countries and different times. But when I learned about uh, Sofia Yablonska, who is now the subject of the album, she just uh, blew me away with her adventures and personality. And yeah, I just decided that we should make the album about her. And then I read her books. I learned more about her. And for example, I was reading the book. I liked the phrase or an adventure. I just wrote it down. And then I thought, okay, it could be this song or that song. And then, for example, because she spent a lot of time in China, I also said to Evgeny, we should make one more Chinese song because he already had some Chinese tunes. Yeah. So I think that starting from that point, we just, you know, built the album around the concept of her travels just to create some kind of a soundtrack, you know, to where she's been and how it's been and everything. So, of course, we cannot share all the songs until the new album drops. And now you could hear some Middle Eastern tunes, maybe some tribal things. But there are also like traditional Ukrainian music, traditional Chinese music, all intersected with metal. Mm, cool. Yeah, yeah. I listened to the, the album and it's really cool. Uh, the, the mix of all these things, uh, I like it. I like it so much. Um, what do the cover and the title of this record represent? I, I mean... It's a conceptual album, so the lyrics are connected with these things, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, actually, we wanted to call this album Teura because Teura is um, is how people of Bora Bora called Yablonska, and it translates as Red Bird. But we realized that for people who don't know the context, it would be some kind of complicated. So. Dreams of Lands Unseen is also a line from the song Incurable Disease. You can find it in the chorus. And basically, it's uh, an album uh, that is dreams about lands unseen. The lands that we haven't seen ourselves, but Yablonska has seen and visited. And if you take the album cover, um, it's... An interesting thing because we used uh, Mid Journey artificial intelligence uh, program to make a prototype for the album cover ourselves. Then we showed it to the uh, artist, the real artist, and she fully repainted their, this album artwork. And we also, you can see a lighthouse and painted on the album artwork, and it's a real uh, lighthouse situated in Ukraine. So um, this is how we also wanted to show, like, that Yablonska is from Ukraine, and we are from Ukraine, and on the album artwork you can see, like, the remains of the sheep in the middle of the desert, but you can also see, like, some uh, green things, like bushes and everything, so um, this album artwork uh, gives very different associations for different people. And I find it really cool because everybody sees something for themselves. Yeah, I, I like it. It's a really cool art. Yeah, congrats. Uh, and speaking about uh, the lyrics, I want to ask you, what things inspire you when you compose them? It's hard for you find a, a nugget inspiration sometimes or it's easy for you nowadays? Uh, it's easy. It's always easy for me to make rhymes. I was always good at it. So for me, it's easier to write, you know, poems than to write just, you know, prose text. So it's not, I'm, I'm just good with words, you know, so, 
Uh, and I also have been a copywriter for 15 years before I dropped like the office work. So writing lyrics is not a problem. Finding inspiration can be long, but again, with this record, I read like all the published books by Sofia Jablonska. And when I liked some phrases, I could just write them down. And then I combined them with my uh, ideas and my vision of her life and this album. So um, with this album, it was even easier and more entertaining for me. It's like making a puzzles, you know, with words. <laughs> 